Anthony's a ball of joy. I mean, he's he's a happy kid. He's just he's up to no good all the time. But I mean, he's he's just he's a sweetheart. I mean, he's full of cuddles, full of kisses. Phelan McDermott syndrome is a medical condition in which individuals have learning disabilities and a variety of other features that are caused by a deletion in 22Q13.3. So that is a deletion at the tip of the number 22 chromosome, the bottom end, and typically we think about that deletion involving a very important gene in neurological function and that gene is called shank 3. To us, um, one of the priorities in what we have uh, generated here at GGC, that is the film adapted program, is to um, try to work to investigate on the correlation between genotype and phenotype and understanding the contribution of shank 3 and other genes on chromosome 22 in determining uh, uh, all the clinical features or most of the clinical features characterizing filament dermid syndrome. By investigating the correlation between uh, genotype and phenotype, uh, we are convinced that we can move forward towards better understanding what causes the different symptoms in uh, the patients with filament dermid, and therefore being able to uh, determine better approach, approaches, better treatment strategies to uh, tackle each symptom. Dr. Phelan, who used to be employed at the Greenwood Genetic Center as a cytogeneticist, was among the first people to describe the deletion seen in Phelan McDermott syndrome. And uh, she and I together, as well as the Greenwood Genetic Center, helped to organize first family support group meeting and it has grown exponentially since then and now we have uh, chapters of the foundation located all around the world. And we believe that by highlighting the role of all the genes that might be potentially involved in this condition, we can uh, design a better treatment for each patient with filomedermy. And this would require an important effort on our side, and that is why it's also important that uh, the collaboration with uh, the foundation can help us moving forward in this direction. We saw how much the foundation, what they were doing, and uh, how everybody was involved to try and find a cure, and you know, putting all these these researchers together. And so we decided to give back to the foundation and decided to start the Hope for 22Q13 gala, which we had our first edition in 2017. We raised forty-four thousand dollars, and we're having the same event this year on October 26th, and we're hoping to double this amount. So when we attended our, con our first conference in 2016, we got to meet Dr. Katie Fallon, Dr. Curtis Rogers, and Dr. Uh, Luigi Bocuro. And we saw that they were uh, still very involved with research uh, through the, genetic the Greenwood Genetic Center. So we, uh, when we decided this year to do uh, our event, uh, the gala, we decided to uh, do a research grant uh, to go directly to the people who have been supporting us for the last 30 years. Anthony, come and give me a kiss. He's gonna and pull on me and give me a kiss on the cheek. I mean, these are moments that, you know, it makes my day. It's, uh, I mean, he can't come, he can't tell me what he wants, but he shows me what he wants. If there's no hope, I mean, you stop looking there. We need to have hope, you know, hope for, for a cure. And we hope that they're gonna be able to find something one day.